Shalom, shalom, shanipo. In this session, we will look at the letter, the third letter of the Hebrew alphabet, which is Gimel, and is pronounced as G. G. The first word is Gadal, which means great, something with increased size, power, or authority. Gadal means to magnify, to increase in size or one's position of honor. Kulu means big in a chiwemba. The next word is goi. Goi means nation in Hebrew, and it refers to a community of people of one or more nationalities and having a more or less defined territory and government. It means the people as the back or body of the nation. And a similar word, koi or umukoa or imikoi, means nations in Ichiwemba and Luunda. Gola. Gola means a rising of smoke from a burning offering. It also refers to captivity in the sense of placing a yoke on the captives. Ukukola in Ichiwemba has two meanings. One is to capture something, ukukola, like birds, and the second one is to choke with smoke or another substance. Gur. Gur means surgeon, to stay as a temporary resident or travel in a strange land. Also the extended meaning of to be afraid of a stranger. A similar word, guerre, also means stranger, a foreigner, a person or thing unknown or with whom one is unacquainted. Gore gore or quere quere is used to describe a stranger or foreigner in many Southern African countries. Gazal. Gazal means to pluck away to take off something or someone by force through picking off, robbing, or plundering. A similar sounding word, ukukasa or kukasa, may refer to messing up of something. The next word is gilu. Gilu refers to an idol in Hebrew refers to an image of a god made from wood or stone that is revered. The word for evil spirits or demons in the Chibimba is Ingulu. Gam. Gam is a Hebrew word which means also, in addition to, the idea of a gathering of objects or ideas. A similar word or expression, nga, is used in a similar way in Ichibemba. There is a hill near Jerusalem where Yeshua was crucified called Golgotha. And in Aramaic, Gogota literally means a place of the skull. And in Hebrew, Gogolet refers to skull. Well, well, in Ichimemba, when you mention Kolokota, refers to bones. Interesting. Shalom, shalom, shalom,